Your average streamer, I think that we know who this is about. Streamers are disgusting human beings. Every day. Three seconds into the video. Three seconds. Every day that passes, I actually think less and less of people whose yeah. first descriptor of themselves is streamer. Yeah. I just know that they smell different and not in a good- Okay. All right, let's stop right now. I smell great all the time. I don't have any problem, like anybody around me, anybody, anybody, has anybody ever said I smell bad? No. What's this? Oh my God. Asmongold's one of my really good friends, long time friends, <clears throat> but I wish I had that, pro that, that that issue that you have where I can't smell when I'm around him. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he will happily admit that too. This is Pow Envy, a self-proclaimed Roblox streamer who lives in his own filth for views on TikTok. Now, I usually with that. social media trends like this, there's a debate to be had about whether or not this type of content is one big joke, a meme, yeah. and that somehow makes this okay. It justifies it or makes it any better? How do I say this? No, it's not a bit. And this is disgusting. Because even if this was some elaborate mm -hmm. scheme to get famous on TikTok or pull more viewers on his stream, yeah. when he turns off the camera, he's sitting in a Petri dish of Ebola. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to think? Well, Ooh. I mean, look, he's a method actor, maybe. I mean, you've got to live the life. You got me. That's a great joke. <laughs> People actually thought. Uh, 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 oh, God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is a real classic. You thought Asmongold was bad? Wait till you see Pow Envy. Cleaning my room because my. I want to also say that I'm way worse than this. Like, I'm sorry, but like having a few moldy cups doesn't have shit on having a wall that has smeared dried blood all over it. That's something out of a horror movie. My mom made me. After she gave me some sass about my room being dirty, yeah. I decided I'd clean it up or she might kick me out. So oh, I got yeah. some Vienna sausage and some ramen to snack on to give me nutrients. Uh -huh. Got some of this trash out. That's an old enchilada. That is some ramen. No, see, again, like, Fillion might not understand this because he's not used to the life. But this right here is only about one or two days old. And you can tell because the evaporation. So whenever you leave soup out, the soup and the water will evaporate over time. And that water will uh, cause the existing stuff to go down. And then you will be able to see a ring around where it initially was. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I know about this. Uh, also, this one right here, I'd say this is about seven days old, which isn't really that bad. You can tell because beans will collect mold on them after a period of time. Now, it is being left out and it's not being covered, which means that it's not going to be as, uh, uh, you, you know, like insulated and, you know, like the mold will take longer to grow, but it will grow mold on it. I think this is less than a week old. This isn't even bad. To give me nutrients. Yeah, God. that's no bad. Uh, see, like, you can see right there, that's meat there. And it's not even beginning to, uh, uh, to, to like, harden up. Like, I would say this is actually, uh, upon further inspection, I think this is maybe four days old. This is nothing. Some of this trash out, that's an old enchilada. That this is, is some not ramen. that bad. And this is some salmon. This Coke, which, I don't know why, old enchilada. That is some ramen. And this is some salmon. I don't know what that is. But, yeah, this is from, like, a day or so ago you can tell because these are these parts are still moist you can tell this coke which i don't know why i didn't finish i love coke anyway this sandwich it's not was even too a big deal because coke molds over time like if you look at it right here there will be like little uh like circles of mold that will spawn inside of the coke and if you refer back to my asthma gold's layer video you would see that and finish. I love Coke. Anyway, this sandwich was too hard on my teeth. My teeth are pretty soft. I have brittle teeth. So I that was no why. good. Oops. Um, my roach trap is doing good. That little bean shaped thing is an egg sack. Yeah. Every day we stray further from God. Did he just say egg sack? Holy fucking shit. Somebody he needs to get this kid a pair of scissors. He'll take care of those roaches. No problem. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that shit at all. He has a roach trap. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, given all the food, right? Yeah. I got most of the left side cleaned up. Looks good. 
the right side. Uh, that's not really so bad. Like, I could clean that up in two minutes. Like, everybody acts like this is really bad. Look at the carpet. The carpet isn't even stained. Like, it's just a bunch of tackies. You just put a, put a uh, garbage bag in there, put everything in the garbage. This is cleaned up in literally less than five minutes for sure. And I'm going to have to clean up bad. another time, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just, you know, it's a lot. That's not that work. bad. So the desk is also, I took a lot of the stuff off. So we're looking good. Thanks for watching me clean my room, guys. I'll see you guys next time and uh, stop calling my mom hot. Thanks. I hate it. I hate all of it. This is what he does, right? He says, I got to clean my room because my mom made me. And he yeah. just recycles the exact same format over and over again, except he never actually cleans anything. And he just No, still that's not true. He does clean it and you'll see different plates. Well, you'll see the same plates, but different food on them. Yeah, no, he does clean it and then he gets it dirty again because he just gets rid of everything or he just leaves it all in his house. Continues to live in squalor, straight depression, straight filth, dinosaur dung, Shrek's ooh, ooh. swamp. I don't know what else to call this. And this bug eyed pencil neck freak is staring into my soul, bro. Okay, I can do without it. Cleaning underneath my bed as a Roblox streamer. Clean. I love how he categorizes himself as a Roblox streamer. As if this is what Roblox streamers do. Like, you know, it's like this is how to take care of a dog and this is what dogs do, right? It's like all Roblox streamers just simply do this. Underneath my bed as a Roblox streamer. We had a roach infestation recently and I found a roach underneath my bed. Oh, Got to you, little bugger. Shit, dude. Me, weird. Anyway, my glue trap is nice and filled. Got a spider in oh, it too. Oh, crawly boy. Should have made him a pet. I forgot to do my homework, but luckily I use Pixolve. It helps me with all of my hardest problems. There it is, Even there the it word is. ones in science and history. So water is the answer for that. Got, found some crackers on the floor, which is pretty cool. Oh. But the roach eggs kind of made it salty, which I didn't like. Why do I believe him? Why do I actually believe him? Chat, is this real? I don't even have a- No, it's not. Uh, roaches don't lay eggs in those, trust me. Uh, it doesn't happen. They're too dry and it's too much of an open space. It's not going to happen chat but i'm asking you is this real i'm getting ready for my first ever date get ready with me guys after playing with my favorite little roach i call her mave she's queen mave no. she's also pregnant too no. so i'm taking good care of her making Don't. sure she's fed mm. why moving on i head over to my local walgreens because i gotta get me a new toothbrush mm -hmm. this thing was 70 dollars. i use my mom's credit card but hopefully she won't even notice and i don't get Does this dude have a date? Well, I mean, look. There's girls that live like this. There's some, like, I always am amazed where it's like this super hot girl. And then I, I, I read her Twitter and she's a complete fucking loser. A massive fucking loser. So there's plenty of girls that are like this. In trouble, but it's like a lightsaber. Wow, wow. Isn't that- I fucking hate this kid. No, I fucking yeah. hate this kid. <laughs> Full stop everything about him. Hygiene is important, guys. I like to brush once a week because of how many chemicals it has, but I made an exception for this girl. And yeah. look what I found. I found another roach. Holy fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's fucking roaches everywhere. It's so much fun. They're like Pokemon. Also, I need a new creamer for my coffee that doesn't mold as quickly because it molds that... too fast. I can't save it for later. And you and idiot. That's not mold. It's not mold. What do you mean? Continue drinking it. So stick on my Velcro shoes oh. because tying laces is kind of hard. I never Not really the learned. Velcro. So I just use. Velcro. Hey, I wear moccasins, man. I like. I never wear nice shoes unless I'm going out somewhere special or like to the podcast or something like that. Like I, I always just wear like random slip-on shoes. That's it. No socks. Well, I don't need to wear socks. My feet don't sweat at all. Velcro shoes. They're much yeah. easier. Of course and they you look do. Good. I can't wait to bring this girl home. I'm gonna put her on that chair. We're gonna play. I don't know how people can like have chairs like this, man. Like these are so uncomfortable. And like this kid's got a really nice setup. Whenever you really think about it, he's got a desk right here. Like that's a nice laptop. He's got my mic. This is the mic that I use. Uh, he's got that one right there. Like his mom spent a lot of money on this. Some League of Legends together. It's gonna be so much fun. Wish me luck on my date, guys. How yeah. I stay young and healthy as a Roblox streamer. First, when I wake up, I kill any pesty roaches that were trying to eat my leftover dinner. I love how he has a lottery ticket behind it. The fucking lottery ticket. Oh my god, he's got a scratch off. <laughs> That's so mean, but I got my pizza back. 
Oh! What's wrong with my car? Does anybody know? I think it's fine, though. I listen to Polo G. Uh, He's the... Oh. What's wrong with my car? Does anybody... Oh, out of 36. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's not too bad. But yeah, you should definitely make it to where it's not run it riding on the, uh, anybody the side. Know? I think it's fine, though. Yeah. I listen to Polo G. He's the goat. Grab me some <laughs> Marachan spicy ramen noodles. This really gets me going. I think the salt really helps maintain a salty diet, which is good for you. I eat. <laughs> True. Two, because one's just not enough. Boil the water, pour it in, and after three minutes, voila. Yep. It's good to go. Isn't that delicious? Then... I like to just put it down. I'll take it down later when I need to. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> See, you don't want to do this, by the way. Uh, this is a mistake. Um, so the reason why is that eventually enough of the moisture will evaporate out of this cup, and then the weight of the fork will then fall over, and it will spill uh, the remaining stuff onto the floor. So this is, again, like, I mean, this kid, listen, I mean, he's a young kid. He hasn't made these mistakes yet later when i need to go fuck yourself yeah, I've been there. taking a shower as a roblox streamer a roach what he should have done is be like taking a shower as a roblox streamer and then it ends that's what i would have done decided to die on my toothbrush which was kind of rude but a man yeah. does have to brush after all anyway my roach infestation has somehow managed Wait, is that to the same brood, toothbrush a man Roblox streamer a roach Decided to die on my toothbrush, which was kind of rude, but a man does have to brush yeah, it is. after all. Okay. Anyway, my roach infestation has somehow managed to reach the bathroom, so mm -hmm. I gotta take this dead roach out of the tub before I can shower. I hate how comfortable he is touching these fucking things, bro. I read that sending them down the drain. What's the problem? Did y'all see in the steak and eggs where I caught a, a, like, one of them little crawly boys? You brought it in, probably? Nah, nah, that's it. There's dead roaches, so what? Yeah, it's not a big deal. I remember one time I was playing Halo 2, I felt a roach crawl up my leg, but I was in like a sniper match with a dude. Bro, I sat there and I shot him. And I let that roach stay on my fucking leg. I remember that shit so well. I was like 14 at the time. Rain is bad for the environment, so I just flushed them instead. Yeah. Anyway, starting up the bath, and I realized I forgot my homework. I have picked- So, um, a real funny thing here is that Whenever Imaru and Tectone came to do, like, the house tour, my bathtub and my bathroom was so bad. It was so disgusting that I actually cleaned it up. I didn't want another human being to see that. Because, like, it's like there's a level of bad. So you finally admit it. Yeah, no, no. It was like, because there were, like, dead bugs and, like, dead things in the bathtub. It was just time for that to happen. And it's not like it was cleaned up afterwards. It's just like, I didn't want, I didn't want to upset them. It was the bathroom of an old god. Yeah. Solved to help me with all of my word problems. It makes it so much easier. Homework is a breeze when you have this app. We need to bring back bullying. Yeah. And I am so serious. Yo, I have a question. Does anybody know how to get this dried conditioner off the wall? I like to use it to trap roaches. That way I don't have to squish them. But then they just sit there for a long time. But I'm clean now, so it's okay. I have never seen a... So, the conditioner on the wall. It's not that bad. Yeah, there's no... Like, where's the mold? It's fake. No, it's not even a big deal. No, I know why there's no mold. It's because the kid doesn't use the shower. So there's no moisture for the mold to exist in. Off the wall. I like to use it to trap roaches. That way I don't have to squish them. But then they just sit there for a long time. But I'm clean now, so it's okay. I have never seen a more fried 21-year-old in my entire life. I think a 96-year-old with cancer on hospice has more health than this young man. It's Saturday shower day. You know what the funny thing is? This kid probably has perfect health. Because if you look at the stuff that he's actually eating, you saw water bottles next to the desk. Ramen isn't bad for you. It's pretty decent. It's time for the weekly shower, boys. Let's get it. First. What the fuck is nah, that? Nah, nah, bro, bro, bro. That's a silverfish. They're not like, you're about to see the finger. Like it's, they're so small. It's not even a big deal. What? what sort of creature crawled out of this it's man's just, bathtub? Look, the, the, My closet's a little messy. I need to clean it up, but I'm a little too tired. It's really hard. Just close My the door. My crunchy socks have been like protein for the roaches, I think. 
Oh, I had that happen with a pair Your of pants. what has been what for the roaches? Yeah. Yeah, I remember I had this happen too. Enhance my crunchy socks mm -hmm. have been protein for the roaches. I'm gonna de- Yeah, I had this happen too. Um, there was like this pair of pants. Remember like those, uh, I think there is like gray sweatpants that I had. And I put them on and I was walking down to the store and I realized that the entire back half of my pants had been eaten out by a uh, a rat. And so like I just had my ass showing walking all the way to the store because it was cold, which was kind of bad. Heard a story too many times. Yeah, yeah. And I probably, I, I don't know where the pants are. Uh, I probably still have them in case I want to wear them again. But yeah, I had this shit happen. Uh, it, it's, if, he, if he had rats, they'd actually eaten the parts out of it. Fenestrate myself. I'm going out the fucking window. Even after cleaning my whole room, yesterday I got stood up by a girl. Now, I even chased all the oh, roaches out of the room. These days. This little guy was hard to catch, but I did get him eventually. I'm getting a flamethrower and burning yeah. down my entire house. You ruined your living space. There's no going back. It's over. Also, Gee. like a recommendation for this kid is that he needs to start using a glass desk. Because the problem with wooden desks is that especially after you leave the mold on there a couple of times, it's going to pull off the, uh, uh, the the varnishing and the furnishing on it. So it will leave the, uh, what, what's it called, like the uh, fucking, the, the grain exposed. And that will just slowly make your desk look shittier and shittier. Uh, meanwhile, you can look at my desk. I bought this desk five, six years ago, actually six years ago. And it looks absolutely fucking perfect, and it's had mold on it and bad shit on it for years, and it's fucking flawless. Uh, glass desks are better. The wooden desks are only good if you like cleaning up a lot. Show the desk? I mean, I don't want to show it. I mean, it, it's a clean desk. Like, it's glass. Like, I have a desk right over there from 2004. It's still clean. G. I cleaned up the entire floor, most of it, yeah. and it was basically just generic, typical mess that you'd see in a gamer's room. So it really yeah. wasn't that bad. It wasn't extreme. Uh, it wasn't pushed the limit. Wait, he has a girl. Wait, what? <laughs> He's on Discord, and you can see that. I think that's him. He's standing up, so he's got a girl on Discord while he's recording. Bro, what a fucking G. If this guy can do it, why can't you? And I send her pictures. I, he, he didn't even notice. He didn't even fucking notice. Like, I don't think I would have noticed unless I paused right there. And she even seemed impressed with the cleaning. So, yeah. I think what really threw her off might have been, honestly, guys. Does this guy just go to 7-Eleven and just buy one of every chip and just fuck his shit up? Just pop all the bags? I can't figure <laughs> it out. I think maybe it could have been, like, the desk just not being clean enough. Yeah. I don't know what her standards were. I even showed her that. I was like, yo, I got a second chair. You can sit on this chair. We can play games together, play League of Legends. I showed her my rats. I think maybe she For a second, I thought this one was dead. She didn't like the rats, but they're in a cage. So what's the big deal? I showed her old pictures of me. It okay. felt like we were really clicking. Great. Um, I told her about the glow up I had, and I showed her my bed sheets because you know most people clean their bed sheets once a year. I actually clean my bed sheets every three months. I wouldn't. E <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. How many times? How often do you guys clean your bed sheets, bro? What are you doing on your bed that you need to clean them every week? What? Are, what the hell's going on? What are you doing on your bed, man? What the fuck? That's insane. Even want this guy to get a nice mattress in this house? It would be a waste. But by the way, that's a hole in the wall. For those of you who don't live like degenerates, 
Why don't you treat yourself? Uh -huh. Which is why today's video is sponsored by Helix. What they have this? great Cyber Week deals going on right now, so it's a perfect time to upgrade your mattress. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped in a box right to your doorstep. You don't even have to leave your house. Oh, yeah, Everybody's different, before. and Helix knows that. That's why they designed a sleep quiz that helps match your unique body type with your sleeping preferences. This way, you can find the perfect mattress for you. If you sleep with a partner or even a pet, you can take the quiz together and find the best compromise for everyone. I like to sleep on my side and stomach, and I prefer a medium mattress feel, okay. which is why I was matched with a Midnight Lux. I've been sleeping on Helix mattresses for over two years now, and ever since I moved, I had to upgrade from a queen to to a king that's how much i love my helix the days of that's nuts like i uh i've had the same mattress since i was like uh 13 yeah we've had this shit like 13 like 12 or 13 like i've i've had the same one like i maybe i should get one going to a mattress store only to be sold an uncomfortable overpriced mattress are yeah. over in fact your new helix comes to you i actually had fun setting up my new bed it took me just under five minutes to carry it up the stairs and watch my new mattress spring to life oh, wow. best of all every helix comes with a 10-year warranty they offer flexible <laughs> payment plans and <laughs> the mattress the mattress becomes a wreck even have financing options available so a great night's sleep is never that far away <laughs> oh i love my, my helix and i think you would too if you're in the need for a new bed check out helix they have great cyber week deals available now it's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25 i bought my dad a new mattress recently and uh it was three thousand dollars oh man they're so overpriced it's insane Yep. Percent off a Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash filion to find out more about this limited time offer. <laughs> and thank you to Helix yeah. for sponsoring this video. <sighs> Here we go. I just got a new pet roach. I'm not kidding, guys. I saw this little guy crawling on my desk, and at first I was going to smush him, but I realized that thing's, that thing's a fucking unit. <laughs> No, it's not because this is an electric light switch. This one's probably smaller than the size of your thumb. He's really not that big. Holy shit, it's the hive mother. He was so no, it's cute. Not, it's not. So what I had to do was it's, catch it's him. Not that big. First things first, though, I kind of knocked over my monitor trying to catch him. And Ooh. that caused me to spill some coffee. Uh-oh. That doesn't look see that's why you have see my mom whenever i bought this desk she knew me real well i bought an l-shaped desk and she said did you buy an l-shaped desk so you can have more room on the side to put your cup so they don't get in the way of the monitor and i said how the fuck did you know that <laughs> how did you know <laughs> see he gotta have an l shape. see i used to have this situation right because if you go back and you look, right, you go back, you look at the situation and like I used to have this too, right? But the problem is that they kept getting in the way of the fucking monitor. And this is me from back in the day. Yeah, yeah, that, th this is my room. This is, uh, I'm sitting in the exact same spot that I am right there. There's the vent right there. You can see clearly this is what it is. And there's the light that's showing in from me. I am the exact same spot that I was um, 13 years ago. And so anyway, uh, you want to have an L-shaped desk so you can put the cups on the other side. And that way you don't have to worry about cleaning as often. Do you ever grab the wrong cup and drink? No. I can hear soda and I can tell whether the soda is fresh or not based off of being able to hear the carbonation inside of it. So if I'm ever unsure, I just listen to the soda and it will tell me. I can look at a Coke and a Dr. Pepper, just the soda itself, and I'll tell you what the difference is. I'll tell you which one's which. I can smell a drink, and I'll tell you what it is. Too good now, does it? Unfortunately, I don't have any carpet cleaner, so I'm probably just going to have to live with it. Um, this is triggering like some insane OCD in me that I didn't yeah. know I had. Holy shit. Honestly, guys, it doesn't look that good. Looks like, you know, something bad happened, but yeah. it's okay. I have worse stains. But look at him. 
He's so cute. He is a guy based on my limited research. So let me know what Frappuccino? I should Frappuccino? Who the fuck drinks a Frappuccino? That shit's like $7. Name him. We'll be naming him in the next video. And I'm going to be getting him a cage and a proper setup. I want him to I actually with... thought about doing this. I was going to put a trap out in my house. And I was going to catch all the animals that were in my house. And I was going to put them in like a cage next to the next to the stream. And I would have like another uh, camera that would be facing it and people could like see the animals uh, during the stream and like pay attention to them. But I decided not to do it. His best life. I really think he's adorable and I can't wait to grow and create a bond with him, really. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it all. Eventually I'll get brave enough to hold him, but you guys stay tuned for that one. I'm just a little too scared of him right now. But he's so cute, and I can't wait to play with him. I'm going to teach him all sorts of tricks. I can't wait. Let me see if I have any of them around here. Nah, the roach just kind of went away. Like, I don't really see as many of them nowadays. There used to be a lot more. Like, bro, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I feel like we used to have way more roaches back in the day. Way more. Also, I know what you're thinking. He needs food. Don't worry. I put a peanut in there. I'll be putting some water in later. Yeah. This guy is going to live his best life as my new pet. I'm sure he's Thanks for watching. Happy. See you next time. I think I'm going to cry. Taking my pet roach Albert out for a walk. <laughs> Ever since I caught Albert. <laughs> oh my God. This is amazing. Crawling around in my room. Me and him have just created this beautiful bond. So I got a shoelace from an old shoe, and I thought this will work. You a never want to have one of these chairs. So I you never want to have one of these, bro. Like, they will break so fast. Like, this is some shit from, like, the 70s. You don't want this. Shoelace from an old... Wait. How about that? Old shoe. And I thought this will work. I tied it around the bottle that I keep him in. And now I've got a leash. Yeah. Me passes. and Albert are ready to go explore the world together. I've really gotten to know him on a personal level. And look at him. He's just so excited to go out. I love him so much. We went on a beautiful walk. I really Imagine. You and your family just go out for a nice stroll, a nice Sunday brisk walk, right? And you see <laughs> this necromancer, this rotting pile of flesh and bones. Wait, that's a look at his shirt. Oh no. Oh no, bro. <laughs> Fucking his pet cockroach in a Starbucks Frappuccino ready to drink fucking beverage. I don't think I would ever go outside again. Cleaning my room because a girl's coming over. Guys, uh, I've got a girl coming over and my room's got to be spotless when she gets here. I don't want to gross her out. Here's the room before. I disagree. I think that you should leave it a little dirty. And the reason why is that like if that if it's going to upset her that your room is kind of dirty, like, you have to know yourself. Are you really going to clean everything up whenever she's living with you? <laughs> no. So it's better to just kind of immediately get through this problem and get through this hurdle in the relationship. And, like, if a little bit of garbage is going to stress her out, then it's better to just kind of cut it off right, right before it begins. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to pretend like you're a different person. Like, we know all of this is staged, right? It's at least put here on purpose so that he could record these videos. But that doesn't take away from the fact that there is rotting food in this man's room. Yeah. It is attracting bugs, swarms, hives. This is the situation outlook. I think it's gotten pretty bad. Um... But we're going to get this fixed up real quick. Those crunchy socks down there between my dresser and the bed. Have no, I'm no, just killing. No, no, she no. She's not going to see that. Like, she never gonna, she's not going to reach down there and grab those. I wouldn't even clean that up. My kid. Full stop. I'm not even being ironic. I am choking the life out of my child. <laughs> yeah, so just how viral is Pow Envy going on TikTok? Well, this video has 2.1 million likes. There it is. 120,000 bookmarks, nice. 50,000 shares, and 40,000 for comments. Him. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. Again. First, I went over what we have. We have a roach infestation. 
I don't think it's caused by me. I think it's just a really invasive. We've yeah. got some bowls we have to clean up. This is why I hate this. <laughs> he just picked up on what the kid said. Because he's self-aware, but since we're yeah. living in post-meme fucking internet, it's like never acknowledging the bit. Right? Because he had to have put this food in here. No, he no, bro. This is not that bad. This is a two-day-old hot dog. Like, why didn't he eat it, though? He has the self-awareness to film himself and bait for viral clips. It's infuriating. I don't know how to fight this. I, I admit defeat. Um, found this hot dog. <laughs> July 4th. All right, we clean up America. this chair. Look at all those water bottles. Feet. Um, found this hot dog. That's a lot of water bottles. This kid isn't really that. Look at look at all those water bottles. That's pretty good. <laughs> July fourth. All right, we clean up this chair. Get some of these bowls down. Mm -hmm. That's a little crust on. Might need to soak it in some hot water first. Yeah, you do. We have some frappuccinos. Looks like something tried- Look at these mushrooms! No, no. See, like, you think that's really bad? It's not that bad. Uh, like, that can happen in, like, two weeks. It only takes two weeks for that to happen because of the- It's, like, already, like, I don't know what it is about stuff like this, but it's, like, anything that's dairy, like, will mold over really fast. I tried growing in here. Not on my watch. Yeah? Not on my watch. Now we got that some snack trays, gotta while. clean these up. Don't want my dog to eat them. I think he already did. Some Not the missing. super sod, bro. I'm a little baby roach trying to get away. See, this one's actually pretty bad. Sorry, honey. Didn't mean to leave that down there. He has a girlfriend? You can ignore 90% of being an adult. Just, you know, skip hygiene, be a filthy piece of shit, and still find love. It's never over for you, boys. If That's right. See? See, this is what I'm saying. If this kid is able to get a girlfriend, and I think this looks like the same girl he was on the Discord call with earlier. Like, he's chilling, man. Look at that. It's the girl from the video. It is. How Envy is clapping cheeks than you can too. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've seen it all. Don't lean over. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> uh, no, I... Does not smell very good. Fucking cheese, bro! What is that? <sighs> I don't know why. I poured some coke in it to try to make it smell better. Found my nail clippers, too. Look how bad my nails get when I don't have nail uh. clippers and I use my fingers. It really hurts. I don't like it very much. Holy fuck. Anyway, bring That's nasty. That's actually nasty, bro. Like, what the fuck? The and he lives in a nice fucking house, dude. This is marble floor. They've got a- look at that door. That's like a reinforced door. They've got a security system. That's what that indicator is. Like, this is a really nice- they've, look at that cat tree. That's a nice fucking cat tree right there. This is totally fine. You know, I bet he might have a completely- he probably has more than one room in the house. Bro's on top. Yeah, dude, this kid- yeah, he's doing well. The dish is down. Got some trash bags filled up. Look at these coffees. Some of them look bad, some look good. I think it's based on how long they've been there. I'm gonna cry. This looks yeah. like syrup, too. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of the cup. I might have to you throw just it just leave the water in there or get it out. Wait. All right, let's see his Sigma Male Grind Set Roblox Streamer morning routine. Morning routine as a Roblox streamer begins right as I wake up. I step out of bed and I jump on my computer so I can get onto my favorite game. Can you guess what it is? That's right. I get straight onto some Roblox. Play a few games. I'm gonna be honest, like, that's better than my routine. My routine is I usually read, uh, like, comments about myself for, like, an hour. And then I, uh, put off messaging people that need an urgent response from me. Because I was asleep and they had a problem. And then I, uh, just watch videos for, like, 30 minutes in bed. And then I get out of bed and then I stream. Eat some of my leftover breakfast from yesterday. The congealed it's better the day after, cheese, I bro. Yeah. Drink some That's of my water Mc, that I uh, left out. It tastes McMuffin. the same. You can't even tell. I think. Wait, what? Drink some of my water that I've left out. It tastes the same. You can't even tell. Well, I yeah, think it's just water. I think this room is a set for him. He just continually adds see, to. See, he's coping. He's co You can see he's coping. He's trying to find sense out of it filth and like maybe there's an understanding with his mom where it's like yeah this is just the fuck room the fuck shit room <laughs>
This, this is this is my swamp. I, that's that's the only logical thing popping into my head, and it doesn't even make sense when I say it out loud because I cannot fathom this flying ever with an adult living under this roof. Then I. Um, whenever I was in my old room downstairs, my mom would get pretty upset about my room being dirty. Cause like she never came up in this room, so she never really knew how it was. Every once in a while she'd see a video and she'd mauled the fuck out about it. But like, it took a while for that to happen. I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just like not seeing it for some reason, which is sad. Uh, anyway, yeah. But like whenever I had this room, like we just kind of went, we were just wiling out. To step out of my room. I couldn't find a picture. Leave the domain as they say. Head straight for the bathroom, brush my yeah. teeth, make my teeth sparkly brush my white. roach. Then, it? if it's a Saturday, I'll shower. Yep. Every other day is a skip. Of course. My hair looks it's a shower. Yeah, it makes sense. No, this is it. I got it. Very good day right here. You look right here. And you can see there's Asmongold right there. That's my character. And that was me. 16 years old. Playing on the arrow keys? Yep. I was new to the game. I had just started then. So good. Today is He's Saturday, on that no poo. As you can tell. Then I go take my daily Xanax for relaxation. Ooh. You're what? Which is fine. Doesn't need to be taken out. You're Pet Xanax? my beautiful cat because he's the best. I hate the blurred lines. I'm lost in the sauce. Hell yeah, we got a gym video. Let's see what- Going to the gym so I can press the lady. Absolutely cracked PRs Pow Envy is up to. Okay. Going to the gym so I can impress the ladies. All right, good for him. As you can see, I'm starting off in a good place. Yeah. I went ahead and went to my local gym place. Fitness connection. And I got right to it. First off, I had 45 pound weights on this, and I wasn't able to lift them up. No matter how hard I tried, they wouldn't even budge. So I decided maybe this wasn't for me. I tried out the bar. My friend told me this is usually where people start off. Yeah. So I went for How is this guy more like XQC than XQC himself? For it. <laughs> oh my god. That's one way to say it, right? Now, this really hurt my back. And I don't know how I'm supposed to lift this. I think I have to work my yeah. way up a different way. It really hurt, and I couldn't really sit straight after that. So you just, yeah, you just go on one of these things, and you just get back on the phone. So I just went ahead and got on this little bike thing. <laughs> yeah. Played some Clash of Clans on it. Um, Ooh, Clash of but Clans. But like I said, wow. as the other ones, it just didn't feel very good. Made my heart kind of hurt. Yeah. So my review of the gym, guys, is this. I need to see a Pow Envy X Sam Sullick collab right now. <laughs> I want to see this kid on trend. And by the way, <laughs> if he does any more cardio, he's going to disenchant himself. He's got to <laughs> oh be like 96 pounds soaking wet. That means if he eats a one pound burrito, he is more than 1% burrito. Oh. I mean, the math checks out, right? <laughs> He's more than 1% burrito. True. All of this for 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. Look, that's at enough, the end of the- That's enough clout to get an e-girl. That's enough. He doesn't need to keep going. That's enough. Day. Maybe some of his jokes are satire. But you know what's yeah. not a joke? Every time he turns off his camera, he is sitting in filth. If you've made it this far, <laughs> you truly are. Is this the new season of Loki? Man, after Endgame, the budgets for Marvel really got shitty, huh? Some of my strongest warriors. I'm about to introduce you to the Ohio Cockroach Giat song. So hey, let's be Riz, I'm dying to see your big yat, grab your toilet, it's giddy, I can make the Riz your yat for Ohio, yeah. so it's gonna be a the thing is, uh, or it's gonna go he doesn't even want to no. see it. 
and you love <laughs> What? Hold up. <laughs> you gotta leave the dog out of this. <laughs> oh my god. Was it really that bad? Like, I feel like this kid's not really that bad. I mean, I think it's like a seven. Seven out of five? Oh, right. Yeah, it makes sense. No, nah, the thing is, it's really not that bad. Like, a lot of this stuff, like, the funny thing about it is that this kid lives in a really nice house. Like, I can tell it's a nice fucking house just by looking at the d the door. Because you, you tell that shit right off the bat. Like, that right there, that's a, that's a nice counter right there. Like, this is, this is a nice ass house. I bet this is probably, like, at least, like, probably, like, a half a million dollar house. Screw bringing bullying back. Just don't let this man pass on his DNA. I mean, shit, he already has a girlfriend, man. Like, I think that's the best... I feel like that's what probably makes people so mad, is the fact that he has a girlfriend. Like, this absolute degenerate, like, golem-looking motherfucker has a girlfriend... And it's like, these are kids that have been spending all day, you know, on these, like, forums about how, oh, well, women will only like you if you are, like, if you've got big muscles and you drive a Ferrari. And then, like, this kid has a girlfriend and they're like, what? This, it, 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 it. You know? Yeah. There's a video. Make sure to give it a like. Uh, Fillion's actually the one that did the Bored Apes documentary video.